either this is fixed it so I've changed the transformer in here for a microwave transformer and I've switched it on and it's all working and now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fasten these batteries together I'm just doing negative to negative they're both dead batteries but I really just wanted to, to do a test to see if it'll weld the current setting is at 2 so we'll, uh, we'll see what happens yep <laughs> that was a weld okay and again yep yeah, and that's a weld and that's a weld and that's a weld that's a weld okay I'm just going to try turning it up to see if it switches the, the power it's going to get very hot now so let's see what happens no it didn't trip the power so again you can see how hot it's getting okay so I've got some really good welding happening and uh, let me just try one of these other settings here we go so let's go I think that's as high as it'll go uh, and just go through and go one okay and just see what happens here we go you can see that's actually just a single is it's just a single and it's a lot longer <sighs> okay so I'll stop messing with it but there you go it's absolutely working um, so I'm quite pleased I bought it even though I've had to do a, um, a transformer change on it the transformer was free because it came out of a dead microwave and um, I've quite enjoyed doing it and what I've got now is a uh, a very effective battery welder of course with its little charger unit built in as well one of the additions I'm going to make to this is actually to put uh, some outputs on the side for a probe so I can use a cable probe um, in order to do some spot welding but I am really really happy um, here we are inside the house on a standard plug socket 16 amp going through a 13 amp fuse and up to its maximum it doesn't trigger i hope you like the video and that you subscribe thanks for watching bye i hope you like the video thanks for watching bye